My name is Vivek Chaudhary and I'm a professor at the College of Business at the University of Cincinnati. And we've been using the uh, simulation ERP sim game now for about six months. So last term I used it in the context of a graduate course in information systems where the students initially had some preparation in configuration uh, and then we concluded the course with the simulation game and what we found that it was the ideal way to tie together all the various elements of the SAP platform and to help them relate to how the SAP platform really uh, helps a business run. I think there are two things that uh, we did differently than what I've seen here. One is I let them freely view each other's bill of materials and my point there was if a cereal company puts a cereal box on the shelves in a grocery store, as soon as it's out there, you, you know what their contents are. So I said, that's fine. It's up to you to see how you're going to use that information. And I also put the sales report uh, for all companies on the open website up above on the screen. Again, saying, you figure out how you're going to use that information, but this is market data. Uh, because today's world, you can buy that data from third-party vendors. And so the idea is uh, you decide as decision makers what you want to do with it. It's a little intimidating for someone who has had no SAP experience initially, but it's the faculty member's job to help them get over it with some practice exercises, if you will, just to familiarize themselves with SAP screens. And then it, does, it won't take long, maybe a couple of classes at best, and then, then they're ready to go. Uh, and if you've already had some SAP exposure in the course before this game, just as I did with my students, uh, then, then it's perfect. Then it's a perfect way to understand it. Now again, the other thing I did was I did the game at the end of a series of SAP exercises. And I know some people have chosen to use it first as an introduction to SAP and then do the configuration. And I think that's just a matter of preference as to which one you prefer. What the comments I got from the students were was this is the first time we saw how things really work together right? because it helps bring together the transaction processing elements of SAP, combines it with some of the decision support elements in terms of the reporting and the features and the information, forces them to make decisions and then feed it back into how you implement some of those decisions. So it's a wonderful way to complete that entire business cycle and help people get an appreciation for why SAP is more than a series of transactions and keystrokes and how it's an integrated business platform.